UPS stopped by with some packages for me. Let's see what they are. A gooseneck hitch. So remove the ball, just pull that up, and it lets the bearings go in. Comes with this nice little cover when you're not using it. Nothing will fall through the hole. The first step is going to be to drop the spare tire out. Now I took my winter tires off the other day and I rotated in the spare. So I just left it down out of there. Now we can stand right here and get access to where we're going to be putting the hitch. With the 10 millimeter socket, take four bolts out of this rear bracket. There's quite a bit of rust on this hardware that we need to take apart to lower this exhaust down. So we're going to go ahead and use the heat quench method with the torch to break that rust free. Heat that up nice and hot and then we're going to quench it. Oh yeah, beautiful. There we go. And then I'm going to unbolt one more exhaust bracket off the frame. That should give us enough room to work up here. Now on the driver's side, we're gonna take down this bracket. There's uh, two bolts there, the 13 millimeter. That can hang down enough to work in there. We'll go like this on the frame rail on the driver's side and like this on the passenger side, but these two brackets are already welded on the frame rails, so we're not going to use these. So on the driver's side, we're using the uh, bracket that has the labels on it. And the existing holes in the frame. Conical washer on the inside. And as you can see that I mentioned before, this bracket here was already welded onto the frame rails on this truck. And we're just gonna put those on loosely for now. And again on the passenger side, so these are number one pieces that we're using. And the conical washer again on the inside. Now that the four frame rail brackets are loosely bolted in place, we're going to install the rails. Before we install the rails, we need to put these carriage bolts into the square holes. After they're up in place, you won't be able to get these in. Passenger side front, rail number four. This goes in front of the shock tower. Make sure you have your carriage bolt in there. 
just line up the hole here. We have the inch and a quarter bolts, the conical washer. Thread up into that rail. And one on the outside, right here. We're not going to tighten those up. We want plenty of play in there. And then number six is the passenger side rear. And number three, driver's side front. Yeah, so those bolts just barely start in because there's a lot of paint in the thread. But. They go right in. The next step is installing the center section up under the truck. It only fits in there one direction. This cutout here goes up over this canister on the driver's side front. Putting these on just without the washers temporarily. I just didn't want to deal with trying to get the washers on there and holding it all up at the same time. Put the washer on this one. Now I'll just put the washers on. These are the conical washers. The last seven bolts. One. And the flat washer on the bolt head, the conical washer on the nut. Two. On the rear of the mount, there was three of these bolts, and on the there front, there's four. Flat washer on the bolt side, conical washer on the nut side. Last one. I think there's a mark here to center this hole. But I gotta take this bed liner off. There's a little dimple in there to mark the center. Drill a nice three and a half inch hole.
now drill four pilot holes with the safety chain U bolts. Now I'm gonna enlarge these holes to 11 sixteenths. Clean up the edge of this hole a little bit. That last part that cut left a thin piece on the bottom. Given the paint some time to dry, and now I'm going to install the U bolts. Conical washer, spring, and the lock nut with the stamped side facing down. Otherwise, you won't be able to start it. And then we just want to tighten these up till about four threads are showing on the bottom. And I've determined that that's about six rotations. Right there, perfect. Now I'm just going to go around and snug up these bolts starting with these carriage bolts. Do these just gonna snug these up and we're gonna make sure all the bolts are torqued carriage bolts to 212 foot pounds And the seven center section bolts are torqued to 212 foot pounds. Torque these rail bolts, the two inside of the rail and two on the outside of the rail on both sides to 150 foot pounds. And the last four bolts to torque are the ones going through the truck frame rails to back up to 212 foot pounds. Hang the exhaust back up. And bracket bolts. Install the spare. Done, ready to use.